guys and welcome to Melge Melge channel. Before we begin, I do like to give a shout out to my dear patrons for their support. I want to let all of you know that my older content is now available to everyone on Patreon completely free out of charge. However, I'm still reserving exclusive perks for those who would like to download my new content and support my channel. There are still the same two membership tiers on my Patreon, an early access tier for £2 granting you an early access and a £1 tier that allows you to enjoy my content once I release it publicly. And then a month later it becomes free of charge. Despite the shift of free content, I am incredibly grateful for those who continue to support me on this incredible journey, enabling me to pursue my dreams. I am truly grateful for each view and comment on YouTube as well as every subscription on Patreon. I am contemplating the idea of launching a YouTube channel membership where I would do live streams showcasing building challenges, tips, tricks, tutorials and more. Although I don't usually enjoy speed builds, I find my comfort zone in stop motions where I truly enjoy the end result, I think the live streams would be a unique opportunity to connect with you all, maybe even do some Q&As and also it would be a great way to see how I build in real time. It would be really amazing if you would let me know if this idea interests you. Now let's talk about this build. I'm really excited to show you this new creation because it's my first horse ranch pack build. I use only this pack and the base game, nothing else. The build is quite big and I chose the biggest lot in Chestnut Ridge World which is 64 by 64. When I began building this house, it was really tough. I didn't know what to build or where to start. I tried a few different ideas, but none of them worked out well. It's funny because the pack has so many beautiful furniture pieces, but that's actually made me feel overwhelmed. I know it sounds silly, but then I realized that my build usually comes together like a jigsaw puzzle. I don't finish them all in one go. I take lots of breaks in between. so. Keeping that in mind, I came up with this huge ranch design that I'm actually really happy with. There is a main house where a family lives along with a smaller building on the side. The house is quite spacious but not the largest considering the lot I chose. Most of the land is dedicated to outdoor activities like gardening and horse riding. The main house has a spacious living room, a kitchen connected to the dining room, a sunroom and four bedrooms upstairs. Initially I made only four sims and two horses. But there's definitely enough space for one or two more extra sims, perhaps a grandparent or another child. Well, it's up to you and your imagination. I also created a building for winery that doubles as a bar. I thought it would be a fun idea to do wine tasting with guests. I imagine that one of the parents is the mayor of the small town playing a vital role for the community and that they enjoy hosting events, inviting people for wine tasting and most importantly organizing dance nights on a beautiful and cozy outdoor stage.
I don't know about you guys, but for me this little dance area gives such a Gilmore Girls vibe and I live for it. I just thought how fun it would be to have those beautiful evenings dancing with your friends or loved ones or just simply by yourself surrounded by fairy lights and cricket sounds. It instantly puts me in my happy place. If you stick till the end, you will see a little Sims dance routine on this beautiful stage. I also imagine this family as a horse enthusiast, like taking part in competitions and winning races. I love how the Sims team made these horses so playable, like pets from Cats and Dogs pack. It really gives more layers in the game and makes it feel more realistic. So far I believe this pack is one of the best we have received. The building part is particularly appealing to me. The furniture and decorative items all have a lovely aesthetics that reminds me of custom content. I must mention that the houses built within the world are also stunning. The entire pack left a strong impression on me. The only minor concern I have is the horses animation which can be a bit glitchy. Horses sometimes appear to pass through fences and ignoring objects around them. Well, I hope that this issue will be addressed in a future update. What about you? Have you got a chance to try this pack? And if yes, what are your thoughts? Do you find it enjoyable or it's not your thing at all? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please hit that like and subscribe or leave a comment as it helps algorithms to boost my video so more people could see this build. Again, thank you my dear patrons and everyone who's watching. Enjoy the rest of the video.